Tonight we are cooking Amy's gluten-free chicken dumpling soup and just to prove how easy it is, it does fit all on one page. So it's going to be about 15 below zero tonight. Um, it is just early November here in Montana, which is a little crazy for that, so it's a perfect time to make soup. And uh, what I'm cooking here actually on pretty high temperature, um, I've just diced all of the ingredients, celery, carrots, onion, garlic, um, spices, whatever you'd like, um, poultry type spices, um, thyme, rosemary, sage, uh, coconut oil to cook it in. And uh, we've just started cooking everything down. It's actually pretty late at night right now. Uh, we just got home with the kiddos. It's going to be a late dinner by the time it's done. It's about 7.40. And um, so cooking things pretty we've quickly here. all of the vegetables together. Um, and then we're going to add 32 ounces of organic chicken broth or vegetable broth. Um, fill that container twice with water and add all of that in and then add a couple of bay leaves and we're going to let that simmer and all of the spices, anything else that you wanted to add would go in at this point. Uh, and then we're going to slice up the chicken and throw that in as well. And the next step I'll be showing you will be how to make the dumplings and they're gluten free, very easy to make and we'll put it all together. Okay, so my favorite part, uh, equal parts of gluten free uh, flour mix your favorite. I use organic. Uh, something with low sodium is the best. Um, combination of rice flours, tapioca, anything that you prefer. So equal parts of we're using instant potatoes. You can certainly use your leftover mashed potatoes from real potatoes. That's even better. Uh, we're going to use equal parts. If you're doing it for a big batch, like eight to ten bowls, uh, you can go ahead and put about a cup and a half of each in. And you're going to mix that together. Add about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of oil, uh, or a little more, or a little less. <laughs> it's important to make a mess in the kitchen as well. And what we're going to do is just fork, blend that all together. Add about a tablespoon um, of oil or melted butter, whatever your preference is, melted coconut oil. If you do that, just make sure the milk or whatever else you add to moisten it is at room temperature and not too cold. The coconut oil will then um, harden again. So um, I'm just going to use vegetable canola oil for today. Probably should use something a little healthier. To about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Mix all that together. And it's just going to kind of disappear in there and make it a little sticky. Might want to add a little more. I did put a lot in there. And then... Uh, your favorite milk, coconut milk, regular cow milk, whatever it is you use. Rice milk is great too, just something unsweetened. Uh, you're going to just pour it in until it's moist. And you want it to be crumbly. We're not making the giant dumplings that you're used to. We're actually just adding it almost like you would a noodle. So I will show you. And then once you have the chicken and everything else in the pot and you have this to a consistency where it's really just little, see these great little balls? You're just going to drop it into the simmering soup um, in the little balls and then let it cook for about 10 minutes. And uh, they won't separate, it'll be wonderful. Uh, by tomorrow when you're having leftovers, the soup will be even thicker. It'll really be an amazing dumpling soup, but for tonight it's gonna be just as delicious. Simmered your pot with the bay leaves uh, for maybe about 20 minutes to a half an hour, depending on how much time you have. Really, by the time you've sliced up your chicken and simmered, it's uh, pretty much ready to go. Um, go ahead and dice up your chicken. Uh, use all of the juices, especially if you know where your chicken came from. And we're going to add that directly into the pot, and then I'll show you how to drop the dumplings in. Also, to the dumplings, if you'd like, you can add salt and pepper. Um, I haven't this time, just because we're going to season it to taste. Um, some of my guests don't enjoy pepper. Uh, but I just wanted to show you, drop the little dumplings in. You can use your fingers if you prefer a spoon, but as you can see the bowl turned out nice and chunky and you're just going to drop these little guys in. Make them as small or large as you'd like. I really like the smaller ones, about the same size as the vegetables that you put in. Um, they just seem to present in the bowl better and uh, people really enjoy them, especially if you like dumplings. It's always nice to have more dumplings than less. So we're going to drop those in just like this. And uh, when 
They're all in the pot. You can cook it for about 10 minutes and it'll be ready to serve. So here's our finished chicken dumpling soup with our little dumplings in it. Yum! Is this one of your favorites, Riley? Yes, definitely. Good. Carly, you too? <laughs> Yum! Perfect for a night where it's going to be 15 below zero.